Whoa, hello there. Welcome to the next video. Today's video is basically we was, we was actually tagged by the two video vloggers more, wouldn't we? For the simple movie tag. Yes. That is so it. Let's do, do this. this. <laughs> And the cat's joining in the action. The cat, today. the cat is joining in. Um, the so I think the first one is our favourite movie. Our favourite movie. Our favourite movie. This, this is a tough one because we like quite a few movies, don't we? But our all-time favourite movie is The Terminal, but we both have ones that we both uh, have our own one as well, don't we? Well, yes, they're, they're loving in another way, isn't they? I like Twister, obviously, and you like. Big Trouble in Little China. Big Trouble in Little, Little China! China. <laughs> uh, so. And you know, old, old Jack Burton used to say. <laughs> <laughs> so we have them, but the terminal was really quite emotional, wasn't it? I think it was. It is. If you've never seen it before, it's a Steven Spielberg film. Yeah. Um, a really nice drama, is it? I guess. Um, Warm. What? As a warm movie. Oh, as a warm, yeah, warm, a heartwarming movie um, about a guy who um, is visiting America from Krakosia. Yeah, could you just say that? Krakosia. <laughs> <laughs> and his country goes into war so that his country no longer exists. So no. he's not allowed to leave the terminal. Um, so he can't actually go to America. Um, and so he's stuck in this terminal until. Uh, Caucasia is becomes a country again so that he can go home um, but the whole time he's stuck at JFK he's got this one security director or something yeah they call it that, but that that I can't remember doesn't the... like him totally who's the actor that plays there because the actor plays he's in a really good actor he's in he's in the, the Devil Wears Prada and a lot of other things like uh. I'm I can't, I can't think remember of his name. Remember, we'll put his name down. Um, Definitely a favourite film. One of our favourites, yeah. So, we, for obviously, we're going from our favourite one to our least favourite ones. Now, one, this is hard to think about, wasn't it? I mean, there's lots of films that people just don't like, I think, but. Um, the things that some of them we didn't like was basically, but really, is The Risen Evil. The, the recent Resident Evil? Yeah. Oh, no. no. Um, I think we probably started. Did we watch it all the way through? Well, we didn't even bother. I don't, okay. I don't think we even bothered watching it until the end. I think we started. Got bored of it. It's crap. Half an hour and then got bored of it. So basically, any film that we don't like, is that right? Um, we don't watch for more than half an hour. Yeah. I think. Board with it. We have done that with a few other films in the past, but recently, let's do a recent one, was Resident Evil. It wasn't It wasn't the greatest. We didn't enjoy it as much as the other ones. The CGI version is a different story, but we won't go into that stuff. Uh, and your other film? Do you remember you had another one that you do? It in? Um, it's a Ben Stiller film oh. that we both don't like. It's called The Heartbreak Kid. Mm, is that right? Yeah. It's just, just a really bad film. Um, and Ben Stiller. You're not a Ben Stiller fan overall, are you? There's, there's only a couple of films you can stand him in. Yes. I think that um, Zoolander 2 recently, that was a really bad film oh, as definitely. well. Um, but yeah, Ben Stiller in the other thing is it's not great. He's not one of your favourites, is no, he? No, he's not. Um, but I know yeah. to the questions. <laughs> uh, our favourite uh, actress. Um, again, I think we kind of. Agreed on one of these. Yeah, but if one you used to pick one, I'm, each, I'm, whose would you be? Oh, okay. I have different ones. Um, Tom Hanks. I definitely the agree. Actor. An actor. Actress. Oh, actress. Right. Actress. Yeah. Oh, I do apologise. I jumped <laughs> the gun there. Okay. Now I have a fun memory of Elizabeth Shue from most of her films she does. Um, I just think she's. It's quite good what she does, but on a, I think we can work both together on this one. It was uh, so I, my if I had to pick one of my own, it'd probably be Maggie Smith. I really like Maggie Smith in a lot that's of dramas. She's good. She is good. She, she, and and Harry Potter and things like that. Um, but uh, we went for one together, didn't we? Because uh, we both agreed on, and we've watched a lot of films with her in lately. Um, and that's Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson, yes. Um, and we really love her. I think she's she's still great. Um, oh, she's got such an I don't know what 
really nice heartwarming films that she's been in. Um, I think recently we watched. Uh, oh, um, last. Is it last <laughs> time Harvey? Last. No, la last chance Harvey. That's yeah, it. Um, with Dustin Hoffman. But before that. We watched um, the Anthony Hopkins film. Oh, the name of it. Remainders of the Day. The Remains of the Day, that's it. We, we watched that one and we actually watched it all the way through, didn't we? It was quite unusual for you because you, you never used to have the patience for oh, those no. sort of movies. Um, oh, that was brilliant. But she was really good in that as well. Um, just anything modern that she and did. She's dead brilliant. Obviously. Nanny McPhee, everything. Really. Love Actually, you love name. Love Actually, but I really, really love the emotion she has with Rick. Rick. Uh, Anna Whitman. Anna Whitman, yeah. Yeah, I know you what you um, mean. <laughs> I nearly said Rick Bow then. <laughs> she did, but this is all right. I subscribe all the yeah. time. <laughs> um, the, the emotion that she has in that, I really love that. Um, what, what do you like about her? I think she play. I don't know, there's something about her. She's kind of like the character you want, you just love about her character. In her. Every role she does, she brings her own to it. And you make her love the cats and love her portraying it as well as a person. Whatever she does on it, it's brilliant. It just touches you, you know, obviously the different ways she... Oh, I don't know, it's hard. Some actors, obviously that's her job, but some actors you just, you think, God, she's just like she's always been that person. Yeah, obviously. It's just, each person she does is just great. You feel... You feel passionate for the She's person. kind of mumsy, yes, that's very it. Englishy. I couldn't get a um, problem. That's exactly it. This is kind of maternally, isn't yes, it? Yes, thank you. But also, she can be quite funny because we watched a film called Love Punch, was it? Yes. With um, Pierce Brosnan. It can be quite funny because we watched a film called um, The Love Punch, was it? Yes. With um, Pierce Brosnan. And that that, film, oh. The chemistry between those two was quite funny. Um, because it was like we're supposed to be older, mature people, and yet here we are doing silly, disgraceful, yeah, naughty things. Yeah, um, yeah but it was it's just great. Quite funny. It's great. Um, but yeah, so moving that moves on to favourite actor. I think you've already said yours. Yeah, was that well, again? it was Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks, obviously, for many of his movies, from obviously Big, which is one of him, and then go up to. Obviously, The Terminal, which is our favourite film, which he's awesome in. Saving Private Ryan, mm. obviously in Toy Story. Um, Forrest Gump, I think. Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah. that would be a favourite movie. Oh, and that's definitely a great one, but it's. Have them all. Yeah, yeah, but Forrest Gump, as yeah. Louise says, that's so. That Mine one. would be Michael Keaton. Mm. Um, I've been a fan of Michael Keaton since Batman, Beetlejuice. Um, Oh, multiplicity. Multiplicity. Watched the other night again. That was that's really funny. I think that film shows the dexterity of his um, personalities and the scope of his um, his skills. And um, really cool. Sorry to interrupt you, here, love. Really cool in Need for Speed. Um, yeah, yeah. He played uh, what was the name of the character? I don't know. He just like a billionaire. Was it Maverick. Oh, no, so not. Um, I can't remember now. No. But he, he was a racing driver who had a heart problem who then became a radio person who puts on this race every year. Um, and, and yeah, he was in that recently. Um, and even better, he was in a film called, excuse me, I have to look up it written down. <laughs> I can never remember the right name of it. Uh, the Founder. Oh, um, yeah. That was his most recent film was about uh, the guy who took over the franchising for McDonald's Yay. Um, and that was a completely really serious role for him um, and to begin with he's got that scope of skill I think that you sort of really love him in the beginning you feel for him um, towards the end you kind of hate him <laughs> it's, a, it's a great um, film but it's a great film um, do you watch it it's all about McDonald's and about the original people who came up with the idea and the concept yes um, and then how it developed into a big, massive franchise chain. Um, but yeah, my Keaton's main lead in that. Um, and, and I always loved his expression with his hat. <laughs> he sort of has this recognisable yeah. style, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> that sort of involves his hands and his face. And, and uh, yeah. Um, but the other one that we kind of love is, is Together. Mm -hmm. Pierce Brosnan. Oh yes. Um. Again, he's another guy who's who's no matter what role he's in, he's, you just really love him. Um. Uh, one of our favourite films is um. Matador. Matador. That's it. I can. Never... 
was just trying to... Do you healthy. remember the name? Because I was struggling. You, you're good at um, lots of things. The Matador, um, again, it, it, it gives a scope of his skills where he's really emotional, he's really funny, he's really serious. Um, if you've not seen it, check it out. It's um, it's a great film about a hit man um, who's losing his edge. Edge, yeah. Great place to your other words tonight. See, um, brilliant. Don't. Are this helping? A hit man is losing his edge and is kind of just losing the plot, basically, yeah. and then ends up meeting this businessman. Yeah. Um, whose life is falling apart and they kind of help each other and form a friendship. Yeah, um, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant film. And yeah. it's a really good film, yeah. So So and obviously don't forget him in 007 and uh, James Bond because he's still one of my favourites. Besides yeah. Sean Connery, obviously, he's excellent. Mm. And I loved him in Golden Eye and I thought that was his excellent. Especially in the tank scene, which is awesome still to he this just day. Stops his train which is like tie <laughs> and just carries on like everything's normal in the tank. <laughs> Brilliant, no. this brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go into the next one. <laughs> so the next question was favourite director. <sighs> okay, now I had two little choices here, all right? But the favourite one has got to be Steven Spielberg, obviously for certain films. And the way he does his films are, are timeless. From the likes of E.T. And we've got uh, Seven Private Ryan. And we've got obviously The Terminal. Um, it's still very quite cool. He has an endless supply, endless supply of movies he's done. Of this brilliant, obviously Jaws. I, uh, I think he, he's another director that's gone from massive blockbuster to serious drama mm. in their older age, and, and that's good because that's kind of how we've gone, really, isn't it? Yes, yes, changes. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't. I think he's, yeah, great director. Brilliant, um, brilliant, brilliant films. Recent stuff, you know. I mean, Schindler's List. Oh, what a film! And it just. Wow, Gives you no this. comment on that. I really, no, it's, it's brilliant. really captures the emotion of the event and and all different characters in yeah. there. It's just great. But you've brought another one, didn't you? Um, so for mine, I picked um John Landis, um, because I really, really love American Werewolf in London. Oh yeah, it's a good Again, one. Again, that's one of our both of our favourites. Um, but mostly because I love his classic films. Um, so I really, really like The Great Outdoors. Um, the Blues Brothers, um, Made in America. Yes. <laughs> I'm forgetting the names of the films again. Um, Trading Places. Trading Places, that's it. A brilliant one. And I think that's one film we could watch again and again and again. Some films you just watch all the time. It's really good. So, yeah, for, for that. And the other one, I was kind of torn. Um, if I was going down a serious route, it would be Ron Howard. Um, because I really, really love his dramas. Um, I think they're fantastic. So he made great films like Apollo 13 um, and A Beautiful Mind, which again is a oh, really yeah. nice film yeah. with Russell oh, Crowe. Right. Yeah. Um, and obviously recently the Da Vinci films yeah. um, and lots of other dramas as well, which I really like, but I can't remember no. specifics. Um, but yeah. It does, it does some other classics as well, don't it? But on my other one, because it was a tough one, was Quentin Tarantino. Mm. Now, his films obviously... You like his art style films, he, don't you? You art, don't like them all, but you like his... The way he does the art style, yeah. the way he does the music, the way he does the filmography, if I could say it right. Cinematography, yeah. I think they so, call it. Yeah. 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 And the way he does everything, and obviously Kill Bill, Kill Bill 1 and 2, uh, fantastic. Um, Jackie Brown and obviously Pulp Fiction are all done in a different style and all mm. done. My favourite is From Dusk Till Dawn, is it? Yes. The he, vampire one? He is in that. Yeah. He, he didn't actually, I don't think he, he did part direct it. No, no, tell a lie. I think he might have directed that one. He did one. direct it, yeah. yeah. Well, that's probably my favourite one of his. There's but... another sort of, I just, just, come, just come into my head talking about doing small parts in films. Was a thing called Four Rooms. <laughs> he done a little part in there. I don't know if anybody's seen Four Rooms. Oh, I remember you getting the DVD for that. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's, and that was a good thing on that, but it wasn't all Quentin Tarantino. Wasn't it about a hotel thing with four different rooms, oh, for, four different guests? Yeah, and all yeah. different directors did it, all different yeah. ways. So that you need to check Four Rooms out. That is quite mm. cool. Um, 
I can't have forgotten about that one. I need to see that again because that just reminded yeah, me. It was, quite, it was quite interesting. It was quite interesting, but that's my... <laughs> anyway. Um, Favourite soundtrack? Favourite soundtrack for me is definitely going to be The Seeker of Life of Walter, Walter Mitty. Mitty. Oh, another great film. Yeah, again, yeah, one of our faves, isn't it? Yeah, all of a sudden, I only recently found out there was a remake. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so, but not having seen the original... We can't really judge. No, so. no, but the soundtrack is excellent. All the songs, everything about it, they've all got that kind of message, that positive message, all that message in there. Mm. It's a great film, it's a great positive... But it's very chilling, isn't it's it? It's chilling. So you can play it in the background. Oh, yeah. excellent. You just chill out, you can just... Well, I'm control to Major Tom. Yes, you've got a bit of... <laughs> can you hear me, Major Tom? <laughs> So you've got all these classic ones, but you've got some ones at the start and all the rest of it. You've got those ones in the, if you've seen Walter Mitty, the one he goes down the mountain on a skateboard and you just listen to Oh yeah, that's a brilliant one. Oh, yeah. Such an excellent, I can't do the tunes, so don't ask me because you don't want me to sing. Um, <laughs> and she just goes down here, just so brilliant on there. But that's one of my favourites, definitely were the Sig of Walter Mitty. Excellent. So yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. I think that's a great soundtrack. Mm -hmm. um, mine's a little bit more racy. So I, I have two that I really, really love um, and will get out and play quite often. Um, and that is the first one is Spawn Trap soundtrack. Uh, because when the film came out, I really loved the soundtrack. It's quite racy. It's got um, quite a few famous rocky, mm, um, yeah. hardcore group uh artists on there for me I can't remember the name of any no, of them. No. the crystal pimps or maybe ones like that um and it's just really rocky and yeah, it kind of just gets you buzzing and going um so that was one of my favorites That's um, good. It's good. You, yeah you quite like it too don't you and you're yes. not really into that kind of no, stuff it's good um and the other one is uh the Tomb Raider soundtrack for the film, um, the first one, I think, the first good. film with Angelina Jolie. Um, again, I really like a lot of the tunes on there. Um, the YouTube song um, "Elevation." And um, is that the one? Did you ever smack your bitch up on? Is that that one in that? No, that was not a film, but I can't remember. Oh, which, that was in a, that was in Charlie Angels. Angels. Yes, that's it. Yeah. I thought it was on that yeah. for some strange reason. No. Oh, okay then. Maybe I'm <laughs> wrong. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's quite again. There's quite a few good cult nineties rocky yeah. songs on that. Um, yes, yeah, it's another one I just play just to get myself woken up and go in. Um, so those are my favourites. Okay. In contrast to yours, really. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all going to the flow. Their favourite horror movie. What's your favourite yeah. horror movie. Okay. Freddy vs. Jason. Ooh, yeah, good one. It's got two of the iconic horror. Because you can't decide? No. And or because that's a good story. Oh, they're not. It doesn't. It's more of this a popcorn movie, watch it. It's just a horror movie you want. It's what it says on the team is what you're going to get. It is a versus. They're basically brilliant at what they do. Freddy's good in this section, he has his, it has his moment, and then you have, you have, then you have obviously Jason. You have all the rest of it. The, the taunting between the two yes. is quite funny. I think it? it's brilliant. It's it's <coughs> I'm, I I uh, some horror films we don't we don't like psychological horror films mm, really. No. No, we like we like. I mean, we watched Paranormal Activity once and never again. No, no, no never. No. Uh, obviously, the Halloween Horror Nights uh, we went to um, recently was pretty awesome there. So, and you went, which obviously goes with your favourite horror film. <laughs> Um, but we went in that in that house, which was really quite cool, wasn't it? But yeah, um, yeah. So my favourite is Halloween. Um, I yeah, I really I like John Carpenter anyway. It's it's no mystery if you watched our videos with Escape from LA um, and other classic movies. Yeah, and years. you um, see a pattern here. <laughs> yeah, um, but basically, my favourite movie at Halloween to watch oh, is Halloween, it? Halloween 2. Um, not so much the others. Um, H2O, I kind of like because I okay. watched it in the cinema. It's okay with, Jane, with um, but you you know, do, more you, modern stint on do it. Love but the classics, Halloween mm, okay. and Halloween 2. You did like the house though, didn't yeah. you? Uh, so basically, as you said, we went to Halloween Horror Nights 
and I dragged you in the Halloween house, uh, which was based on Halloween 2. Um, and it was really, really good. It was like, it had all the hospital and everything. Um, so, favourite genre? Favourite genre, yeah. Do you I have can... one? I don't know if I have a favourite one, but... I think we used to be kind of blockbustery sci-fi yeah, yeah, yeah. people. I mean, you were always Star Wars, wasn't you? I'm not uh, saying I'm not kind of Star Wars, but... <laughs> No, no. But I have this, I think uh, film tastes in some respects have changed, changed a lot, yeah. haven't they? As you've got older and, and we just, well, I don't know, we like to watch a lot of films that have got a lot of a lot of themes, a lot of thought to them. A lot of feeling, um, a lot of messages in them. So. so you really kind of follow along the story. I mean, um, what was the one we watched the other night? Um, Colla Collateral Beauty? Oh, yeah, that was... Uh, with oh. Will Smith. Um that's a touching so, film. So I guess if we had to pick a, a genre, that would be drama. Mm, I think so. I think, um, it, it, yeah, it's not romantic comedy. It's not, um, yeah. So it's, I think for us at the moment, it's dramas. So we've gone from kind of blockbuster <laughs> movies. We did like blockbuster popcorn movies, but the last one we watched, to be honest, was uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two. This is really um, cool. We haven't seen Wonder Woman or anything like that lately. We'll wait till they come out yeah, on DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the ones that we've really craved watching in the evening together um, has been dramas. Dramas it? and things that, yeah. that, that touch me here and there. Yeah. You know, some things that really get you, um, just get you thinking and get you... This just get you feeling, thinking. Feeling, oh, it, look at that. But that know, film That's was, what life's all about. Yeah. That was a great film. Yeah. And I was... It basically, a lot of these films I don't want to watch at the time, and then my lovely wife here, which puts up for all my <laughs> shit, right, she says, Come on, let's watch it. Let's go and watch this film. I go, mm. and then you watch it, and I think, well, uh, same with The Gladiator and no other films that she's Oh, well, yeah, you didn't want to watch that, did you? No, she is brilliant. She is really brilliant. Oh, and that's a Ridley Scott film. Yeah, I know. Another good director. Oh, so yeah. But, but that's, that's but, um, yeah, sorry, you guys out there. Doesn't that mean we don't like sci fi? We don't like uh, blockbuster films? By no but, means, we, we, we're a broad range, but you know, um, but you want this is the if whole we had a film of choice at the moment, it yeah. would just be drama, yeah. just because yeah, this is our point, this is our, our choosing, isn't yeah. It? Um, so, don't worry about it, we're all good. <laughs> um, so we're gonna finally go on to uh, <laughs> favorite animated movie. No, the favorite animated, I've got a feeling I know what yours is. You write that down. So I've got a very, very you have bit. to ask yourself what your favourite animated movie is. Of course, is. I know what it was. Sorry, you know, been a long day. Sorry, people. We're doing this quite late. Um, so my favourite animated movie is a Disney one, and it's Aladdin. Of course, Aladdin is brilliant. With obviously the whole interaction with all the characters, it's. Heartwarming has a great story. You could watch it a thousand times and we don't get boring. Uh, Robin, Robin Williams. Thank you. I can never say some words properly, but you know. <laughs> but he does brilliant. I, I must add Libby down that. It is fantastic. Shall I call you Al? Yeah, or maybe you didn't. <laughs> or maybe even Laddie. Go say here, boy. <laughs> uh, I like a boo. I think monkeys, I do like monkeys, but he's really cool in that. I love the bit where he pulls his thing over his yeah. head, does an impression of Jasmine. Yeah, it's he's brilliant. Bearing his little eyes. <laughs> but yeah, so the whole thing is really cool and I do love that whole, the movie on it, the music's great. If the thing is about it, it's great. So that is definitely one of my favourites, go-to movies if I want. <gasps> You're not going to sing a piece? No, we're not going to do that. Oh. We're not going to do a whole new world. No. Because... That well, is a whole new world. Yeah, it is a whole You're new world. You're singing. You don't, we're yeah. not want to see it. My whole, yeah, it is. <laughs> you, you don't want to see that film. No. Anyways, your one. Um, mine would be, I really love Disney movies, as you know, but um, one of my favourites is Shrek. Um, yeah. I'm a DreamWorks fan as well. Um, you, on the other hand, not so keen on DreamWorks. I, did, I used to like yeah. him, but... Used to, but... But it's just... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid... I'm afraid things that stick at me nowadays, I'm afraid. I watch it, I think it's really good. And we used to like it. I used to, we used to say what thing we, me and Lou do. We normally have a little saying for ages. When we watch something, we normally have a thing we can interact a lot with a film or something. A saying. And particularly it was, uh, do you know the Muffin Man? And Do you know the Muffin Man? 
the one who lands down Jury Lane. Yeah, and you get the gist <laughs> of it. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. But we used to do the sayings from that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not really a big fan of some You've of these. You've kind of gone off of it, haven't you? I think I've gone but off Jane I, I, I could watch Shrek and Shrek 2 um, and not Shrek 3, but Shrek Ever After lots of times. Yeah. I, I just. Donkey and Puss in Boots and Gingy and everyone just cracked me up. I think um, I've gone off of it. You, you, you've gone off of it, haven't you? Like, when we went to Universal, I was super excited. I went to meet Donkey um, and, and on the ride and stuff. And you were just like, nyeh. Mm. You were like Grease Mum, weren't you? Like, yeah. Nyeh. Mm. Nyeh. Mother, I flew to the moon. <laughs> nyeh. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but that's my favourite. Um, and there's not many left now. Let's get through and quick. Let's get through and quick. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do um, this. Favourite cinema experience. Oh, we both quickly agree on this one, don't we? Although you forgot about it, didn't you? Um, have to say, not so great a film, but a classic. Um, <laughs> but our most memorable cinema experience was Blair Witch. The Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch Project. Um, mostly because we went on Halloween. Yeah. Uh, when the film was out, and it was quite late at night. I must admit, it was probably about half past eleven showing. It was maybe. a late one. It was a late showing back in the day, Boy. as you like to say. Back in the day, people. Back in the day when back. they used to have late showings. Yeah. Um, not so much anymore at our local cinema. Um, and uh, it was actually Halloween, and obviously I very vividly remember the scene where they were in the forest. And she's talking to the camera and the, the snot stripping down her nose and there's breath coming out of her mouth because it's cold and they're in the middle of the woods. And we were sitting there freezing our asses. And it wasn't cold. And it wasn't just cold, nippy bit cold. It was proper cold. And you, you can't, you notice if they put the air conditioner on and yeah. things like this. You know this, you can tell this because I'm wearing warm blooded and I, I don't get cold as... You don't get cold as in my No, you? no, no. Yeah. But on this particular night, we're getting there, we're all fine, it's all warm, it's nothing fine, watching the film's all warm, and all of a sudden, it's seen come on, and it's like an um, ice yeah. breeze. It's really cold. And you have a little goose and, pimples and on yeah, you. Yeah, I swear, the breath was coming out of our mouth as well. <laughs> but so it, it was like, it was, a it was great memorable eerily experience. like we was there, wasn't it? And then on the way home, we have to drive past the woods to go home, don't we? <laughs> so it was like looking at the woods and kind of going, drive faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was together. a bit creepy at like, the time. Yeah. But it, that, that's what's good about but, the series. But, but that's the most memorable, I think. Yeah. yeah. But it was on Halloween, made it even creepier. Um, um, obviously, the other one was Polar, Polar Rise. Polar Express. Is it? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, so we went to see the Polar Express, um, another great film with Tom Hanks in it, mm -hmm. um, at the IMAX at the Science Museum. Yes, yeah. Because this was the Waterloo one. I think, I think it was, it's a long time ago. Um, so the, the IMAX was mostly in the Science Museum and I said let's book a ticket for Christmas um, and in, if you've been to an IMAX the screens are huge and um, uh, the particular scene I remember, I think you remember too, is where where the train first pulls up and the front of the train comes out of the screen Yeah. Um, and because the cinema screen is slightly curved and the IMAX has like several like if you go to a proper IMAX cinema, not your local, has a proper tiered um like almost stadium seating, isn't mm. it? Um so if you're sat in exactly the right spot, the train comes out of the screen at you and yeah, then yeah. it was like it was snowing in yes, the, yes, in the yes, cinema. Yes, yes, yes. And and you could almost lay back and just catch the snowflakes. Yeah. And it was just it was just Oh it was great. It? It's great. Um, you can't go wrong with that one. But yeah, those are probably our two. Yeah, um, so what we got next on them, my love is Favourite foreign film. Um we really struggle with this because you couldn't really think of a favourite foreign film. Um and I was gonna go with Pan's Labyrinth, um, because I do like that one, Gillum de Toro. Um, oh, there's some names but, now, that is. But you don't really have one, and then we kind of thought one, thought of one that we do both like. Yeah. Um, which is Studio Ghibli, um, or oh, Ghibli. Yeah, why do you call Never it? Never quite sure how you why pronounce you call it. Ghibli. It's just like it's like chicken drumsticks. You don't want Ghibli's, do you? <laughs> I call it Ghibli. It's yeah. Ghibli. Right. Um, and that's 
uh, Spirited Away. Yep. Um, so a really good animated film. Um, I'm a fan of the Ghibli series. I anyway, think they're brilliant. Um, they're all brilliant, and you could watch them in Japanese and in English. Um, but sometimes it's great to watch them in Japanese with the English subtitles. Yeah. And Spirited Away is probably great like that. I, oh, mean, I think it's awesome. It kind of takes you back to uh, old games. Yes. When you bought them in Japanese and you just... When I, you I don't mean... know what it is about Japanese oh, Japanese animated it's things. Japanese. The voices are so much more emotional, don't you think? Yes, in, definitely. In Japanese than they are when you dub them in English. Well, I'll, I'll give you an example mm. talking about how good the Japanese voices is. Do you remember our buying Shenmue and the Dreamcast? Yeah. And the voices... Everything about it is phenomenal, from the song, from the acting, everything about it. And then you get the British one, yeah, it's good, but it's not got the same, you know, I don't know what it is. I think it was the same with Metal, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Um, Snake sounded like really, really, really good in like Japanese. Yeah. And then you hear him talk in English and you're just like, oh, God, not, not the, the voice actor guy. In the British Which version, we have seen. We, we did. Who did a convention recently was really good. He is cool, but uh, we, we, David something. Yeah, but we um, obviously. But, on... but it, it just I don't know. Japanese voiceover just just has more emotion, I think. Oh, and excellent. For a Ghibli film, it's perfect because it's just that if you haven't seen them, check them out. They're so emotional, and they okay. got bought out by Disney. Um, Which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, but personally, I liked all the original. Yeah, that's um, fine. First few up until then. It's, it's, it's still cool. It's still uh, cool. But yeah, um, so we got the phone. and the last one, uh, guilty pleasure. Yeah. Um, now this is. This now is... I know my one personally, Neil hates. Oh God, that... <laughs> um, but um, we'll do your one first. Okay. Well, I do have a guilty pleasure of certain things that is. Like a bit of a guy. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm afraid I'm not all manly all the time, I'm afraid. I do have other things. I think Pitch Perfect, I thought, was a great thing. It's a great movie. I thought it was good fun to watch. Is it that you like the movie or you like the fat Amy Bird? No, I just like... She's quite funny. Yeah, but I like the the songs that interact with each other. It's fun. It just makes you smile. They, these obviously covers of songs you like. You just watch it. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. You just put it on, you can just watch it. It's a feel good movie. Yeah, feel good. Yeah. I like it. I don't care who people will think, really. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's what it is, you know? Pitch perfect. Yes, my guilty pleasure. Just deal with it, people. I think it's quite cool. So, yours. <laughs> so, mine, you hate mine. You can't stand it. Um, mine is Starship Troopers. Mm, um, for many reasons. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I saw it at the cinema and I thought it was really good. And I'm a Paul Verhoeven fan anyway because I always loved Total Recall and Robocop and stuff. Um, but you really, really hate it. It's not so Granted, it's not the greatest film in the world um, because there are lots of flaws with it. Like, for instance, if you do get crashed in a big massive spaceship in the middle of space, you get more than a little scratch on your you head. You just get a scratch. But, um, which, which infuriates you every time oh, it right. comes up. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> um, and some of the dialogue is really, really bad. But I like like how you like Pitch Perfect. I like the camaraderie between Casper Van Dien and, yeah. and in, um, uh, Neil Patrick Phillips, is it? Oh, um yeah, I think it is Doogie House of like um, Doogie House. Yeah. Oh, this thing's doing it. It's, um, it's oh, that takes me back. That makes me feel old. <laughs> Doogie House. Um, uh, yeah, I love the camaraderie, and I, I just think it's just a good popcorn flick movie. Um, and I could just, I could watch it again and again. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. I think there's something on it that just just winds me up. But at the end of the day, there's. Everybody's got a film like that, I suppose, that somebody likes it's it. It's like the Pleasure. Yeah. yeah people it's... love to hate it, just, but... Just deal with it, people. <laughs> anyway, I think that rounds up our favourite films selection. 
of the sim is it called um, the, the simple movie tag the simple movie tag and yep. thank you very much for um for tagging us you're very that's very does, does that mean we have to tag someone else i think else? it does oh who are we gonna tag well i mm. think we need to do a couple All yeah right. so i think we tag should we tag uh, yeah, Foster's do. Games reviews. Oh, and that's a shock. Tagging you, Mark. I think we should <laughs> do a video. Yes. Um, yeah, that would be an interesting one. That would be um, a very interesting who one. Who else do you want to tag? Now, <laughs> it's a good one, actually. I mean, we need to tag. Oh, what oh. is his name? Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, I'll link like, down below because I did. Do I know him? No, he's the Retronic. Collector. Oh, electronic collector. Yeah, yep. sorry. Yeah. And then he'll be good. Yep. It would be very cool. Yep. And obviously, let's have the super nerds. Yeah, let's go for Cause it. Because he would be very awesome. Because he, he likes different film. Mm, yeah, he likes Alien and a lot of things. Yeah, he? so yeah. that'd be pretty cool. Yep. So I think that's. So we tag you. We tag you. So I'd like to see if you could do yours as well. Very awesome. So there you have it, lovely people. This is our... Thank you for sticking with us all this time. Probably gone on longer than we anticipated. Yes. Um, it's the director's cut version. It's the yeah. extended version. <laughs> anyway, thank you for my lovely wife for doing this video with me. And till the next time, lovely people, you keep collecting. And you know the other famous word, don't you, baby? Bye for now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye.